four weeks ago that President Biden ended his presidential run and passed the torch to Vice President Kamala Harris. Tonight, he will be the keynote speaker at his party's convention. Reporter Liz Nagy from our sister station WLS is there and joins us live now from Chicago. Liz? Ellen, David, this is likely to be a very emotional night for President Biden. Until recently, this entire week was supposed to be dedicated to his presidency and his policies. Now tonight will be President Biden's solo guest appearance here at the convention. And just as he arrived here at the United Center a little while ago for a run through of that speech, things got chaotic outside. Hours before President Biden is set to step on stage inside the United Center. Pro-Palestinian protesters breached the security perimeter surrounding the arena. This was the first sign of real chaos and unrest after hours of demonstrations that had stayed largely peaceful and on message. Right now, there's a horrific genocide of Palestinians taking place that's being aided and abetted by the Democratic Party leadership and its representatives. The bright blue stage inside the United Center will belong to the man who thought this entire week would be a recommitment to him. Now, President Biden will place his party under the care of his second in command, Vice President Kamala Harris. Democrats kicked off convention week fired up. Right now, it's our turn to pick up the pen of history and let us tell a story that over the next 80 days, we did what it took. Fresh off a multi-stop bus tour through Battleground, Pennsylvania, Vice President Harris and Governor Walls arrived in Chicago riding a wave of newcomer momentum. This morning, Walls wasted no time trying to rile up the delegations. 78 days, 78 days. Hell, we can do anything for 78 days. And as I've been telling people, we'll sleep when we're dead. Not now. Not now. Not now. So to each of you, let's get the work done. Let's make this official. A new ABC News Washington Post Ipsos poll out over the weekend shows Harris now leading former President Trump nationally with a six-point lead nationwide among likely voters. Spread out between events and small rallies across the city by day, Democratic candidates and delegates will file into the United Center each night, first to bid an emotional farewell to President Joe Biden. As President Biden did that walkthrough ahead of his speech here tonight, he did not indicate exactly what he would be saying, but simply said that he is ready to pass the torch. He'll also be joined by his wife, the First Lady, Dr. Jill Biden. Former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton will speak here as well. Meanwhile, outside, things remain tense, and Chicago police have made several arrests. We're live at the Democratic National Convention here in Chicago. Liz Nagy, ABC7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel and download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.